Hello, Uncle Rod is back again with a new video, but something different. Ah, oh, CDs this time. Okay, everybody switch off. Yeah, okay, listen, what, what's happening is that um, the vinyl imports have come crashing to a halt due to, um, well, I haven't run out of funds, but I've got to buy some other things. Um, with the money that I got from the government, back from the government, so um, I certainly went ape shit over it for a while and have spent quite a lot of it. Um, but yeah, I've got some chores and things that I need to do. So anyway, I've been flicking through a lot of my old music magazines and thinking about um, all of the music that's referenced in a lot of those old magazines that I have in my collection that I haven't listened to for quite some time and most of them on CD, some are vinyl but mostly CD and so what I've decided to do is to randomly pick out an old magazine and flick through that magazine and choose, pick out all of the um, albums that I have that are referenced and that are either reviewed or there's articles about the band um, releasing that album or there's just advertising um, about that album and so I'm going to pick those out the first magazine that I picked out is this one um, Rip It Up is a now deceased New Zealand magazine um, a monthly magazine that I had been reading for many years off and on um, I had quite a good collection of Rip It Ups from the 80s and 90s, late 80s probably, or mid to late 80s into the 90s, um, which I um, disposed of many years ago, which I'm really regretting now actually, because um, they're quite hard to find and they're, and they're really good um, references, because there's a lot of New Zealand music referenced in here, not all of it, but um, it did cover the international scene as well. So um, this is the first magazine I picked out, this is from... Uh, 2000 and uh, December January 2001 2002 number 284 now the Rip It Up magazine um, stopped being published for oh, probably maybe in the last 10 years but not by much I think I, I, I can't quite remember I think they did get up to over 300 issues so um, yeah really cool um, so bit of a mix of stuff here um, so a lot of the CDs I'm about to show were from the time, what's playing in the background if you can hear it is Salmonella Dub uh, Inside the Dub Plates, this is a fantastic record, Salmonella Dub are actually from my hometown of Christchurch um, and they're still going actually, um, I saw them live last year although I think they've lost a bit of their impact um, I'll see if I can find the New Zealand ones first being a New Zealand magazine, obviously there were some CDs referenced. Um, this one is Shapeshifter. Uh, Real Time, this was their first LP um, from 2001. It's uh, drum and bass. They were fantastic live. As a matter of fact, I think they're still around too. But this is all, mostly this stuff is from the, old, from the New Zealand um, drum drum and bass, electronic, sort of dubby, reggae sort of influenced music that I was into back then. Um, like this, the Black Seeds. Um, this probably would be their first LP from 2001. I have quite a few Black Seeds CDs. Um, yeah, they were cool. And then, oh, okay, so that's the dub reggae section, electronic. Um, more along the lines of hard rock or, or um, classic rock almost is the Feelers. Playground Battle. This was their second LP, I think, from memory. Um, I brought this on on the Larger Than Life song, which is a fantastic song. But actually, this CD's held up pretty well. I quite like it. They had about three albums in their career. They're actually touring. They actually toured recently. They reformed and toured. I don't think they've recorded anything for years. And this is fairly recent discovery for me um, in New Zealand music. Uh, this is from 2008, so I'm not sure why this ended up in that collection. It's not, no, this isn't referenced from the uncut. This was referenced from um, another source that I was pulling out some music for. Um, anyway, yeah, so Jacob 
is Solace, their album. This is sort of post-rock, instrumental, sort of droney, uh, atmospheric sort of music. Um, the reason I got it on CD is because I never find it on vinyl. They're pretty hard to find on vinyl, but I've got a couple of their records. So they're, they're a fairly new discovery. Um, another another one that wasn't in the wasn't referenced by the Uncut magazine, but I'm listening to from another reference source um, at the moment, and this is Sun Ra's Helocentric Worlds Volumes 1 and 2. This is a fantastic Sun Ra. This is, I'd have to rate this up there with one of the top of the um, Sun Ra collection of my collection, and I have a lot. Um, Sun Ra, there's a lot of Sun Ra stuff that can be pretty hard to listen to, but that one's adventurous, uh, fr- free sounding, uh, but very powerful sounding music. I really enjoy it. Right, into the overseas CD. So, Mr. Ryan Adams, this is his uh, first album that I ever bought. It's the second solo album that he put out in 2001, I guess. Well, it must be if it's referenced at the end of 2001. Even with my reading glasses, I can't read the, the small print there. Um, I love Ryan Adams. I have pretty much everything he's done in, in the last one or two I've picked up on vinyl, or one anyway. Um, it's only one of his I don't have, which is that... What do you do? A, a album cover of album covers of a Taylor Swift songs, which I I haven't really got yet. Um, Queens of the Stone Age, uh, Rated R. I think this might be their second album. Um, this I love. I like them. I really rate them. Um, and they did play here recently. I didn't actually go and see them. This one here is actually quite a recent um, edition. I. I Left Field, this album I'd read about for many years on, on magazines and blogs and internet sites and it's been highly, highly rated so I thought I'd grab a copy. Um, I've recently picked up one of their re- really recent re- issues, uh, albums, I can't remember what it's called and I actually like that better than that one. But It's a great album but it's not, I don't like it as much as everyone rate, mate, raves about. Um, Gorillaz, first LP, they've just put a new one out, I understand, um, not that long ago. This is their first self-titled EP. Uh, LP, this is our CD. This is pretty cool. I do like that. I, do, I really like that. Fat Boy Slim. Fat Boy Slim is actually playing here. Can you believe? Um, yeah. So I was big on Fat, Fat Boy Slim back in the day. Um, really enjoyed his music. I think this is his first LP uh, CD. Fat Boy Slim's Better Living Through Chemistry. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I have at least three or four CDs. The Strokes, their first um, CD from uh, back in the day. Really cool, yeah, stands, still still holds up fairly well now. This is fantastic. Tall. Lateralis. Lateralis, lateralis. Yeah, I mean, Tall are fantastic. I saw them, I've seen them here, they played twice, two years in a row they played here actually, and I saw them both times. Um, good going back about 15 years now, I'd say. But that was bloody awesome. Uh, this here is the only Smashing Pumpkins um, record I have, our CD I have. I, to be honest, this is the only one that really appeals to me, and even this one I don't think has aged all that well, in my opinion. Um, I had this on vinyl. This was actually a replacement copy for the original vinyl that I bought when it came out at the time. Bob Dylan's Love and Theft from 19... Oh, no, this is a 2001. So... Um, this one I actually picked up from reading the Uncut magazine, which I'll be getting to in another. Few, in a, I have a heap of Uncuts, and I'll be getting to those in the future. But um, I was, yeah, they recommended the, you know, the Bob Dylan from around that time, from the time out of mind, I think it was, from the late '90s through to a couple of three albums after that that I've, I've collected. Um, this one here, uh, yeah, this is okay. This was the first album I bought of theirs. And I think it's their best. I have a couple more which I played one of recently and was kind of like, uh, I'm not sure if I'm into those guys anymore. Not a lot of rap in my collection, but this one here, um, Cypress Hills Black Sunday. Yeah, Black Sunday. Um, great bassy sort of album, this. Um, yeah, <laughs> lots of songs about smoking dope. Um, a lot of blues in my collection, CD collection, which I haven't listened to a lot of recently, but this, um, I do a lot of blues compilations especially. This is uh, Alligator's 30th anniversary compilation from 2001. 
so there's probably a couple of three more out since then if they're still doing that sort of thing. I actually have a couple of earlier ones, so like the 25th and 20th I think as well. Um, one CD of live, one CD of studio. Kind of gets a bit the same, this sort of stuff. Um, you know, it's all very well recorded and there's some nice playing, but it all sort of starts to sound the same. I mean, there's some pretty good artists, big artists on here too. You know, Coco Taylor on here and um, the Kinsey Report, uh, Junior Wells, Robert Cray and Albert Collins, Johnny Winter, uh, Hound Dog Taylor even. Oh, there's a video on there of Hound Dog Taylor on that one. Yeah, I love Hound Dog Taylor. He was, well, he was a man who... who caused them to start Alligator Records, wasn't it, Hound Dog? Um, and, and his two albums, I think, that came out were fantastic, and I love them, and I only have one of them on CD at the moment. I used to have them on vinyl. Um, yeah, Massive Attacks Protection. Um, it was nice to hear the missus really likes this album. She was quite familiar with it when I pulled it out and played it. I hadn't played it in many years. And also Massive Attacks uh, Blue Lines. System of a Down, this is a great album, I think this might be one their best one, but I have several of theirs, I do really, really like them, and, and it's really, really well, uh, great sound um, recording. Uh, Bob Marley's Natty Dread, this is probably one of the only, I think I have two Bob Marley CDs and a compilation CD, of course we have a legend, I think it's called, is, is probably his biggest selling collection. Groove Amada, Goodbye Country Hello Nightclub. This is pretty cool. Um, I had to listen to this, and, I, and yeah, some of it I don't think has aged it well, but um, I think it was super styling. It's really cool. What well, it's a really cool song, um, but I need to have a listen to that again. One of my all-time favourite records, Polly Harvey or PJ Harvey, her first album, Dry, from 1992. Um, so I've had this CD since yeah, since it came out in 1992. This is probably one of my older CDs in my collection. Because I didn't, I started collecting around 1990 of CDs as the vinyl was dying out. Um, that's a fantastic debut, one of the best ever. And finally, one of those five LP or five album box sets, cheap box sets, um, original series. I think. Well, actually, is this an original series? It doesn't say that. This is an EMI release. Um, but five, five box set, five albums from Radiohead. Um, the one that was actually referenced was Amnesiac, which I think is the latest on this collection. So that's going back to Pablo Honey. Um, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Radiohead. Their music is interesting and, and takes a fair bit of getting into and getting used to, but it's not bad. But it's not... I don't have a lot of... Listen, I don't listen to a lot of it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I'm not familiar with a lot of those records, I, even though I've had them. Um, oh, that, that set's not that old. I mean, it's three or four years, five years maybe, but I've had a couple of other CDs for a bit longer. But yeah, I know for some of the songs that used to be on the Triple J compilation that I have that kind of made, got me familiar with them, but the rest of it, not that familiar with. So something I'll probably need to pay a bit more attention to when I get a chance, but it's so hard with having so much music. Um, I've got some more vinyl videos on my computer that I haven't posted yet, but the vinyl has stopped coming in. I have one on order at the moment, plus one on back order, which isn't due till November, so it'll be a while before that. But I do have a trip coming up to Wellington where I'm going to go and check out some record shops up there, um, but that's not till November as well. So um, by the time I, that comes around, I should have posted the rest of those videos that I have up. Um, I think I've got at least three more to go, but I'm going to post this one up first anyway. Okay, well, um, thanks for watching, music fans, and we'll see you again. Thank you.